Jackson. It backs up here. Are we good? What's up, YouTube? This light, you're not going to turn this on? I need this light, though. This is my favorite light. Alrighty, let's turn it on. You have to adjust it with the light. Hello? You guys, I need this lighting, man. Alright. David's over here messing with my equipment. I'm fixing it, dude. Come up here, Jackson. What's up? He did not, he walked in, he is not wanting to get groomed today. I was like, you're not gonna want to get groomed? How long's it been? Did you miss a December? Hmm? Did you like to jump around? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we got, I think we come every two months. So we didn't come in December, which is fine. But I am um, a little worried about the matting because I know mom is a busy real estate agent. You also right? don't need this light, but. I need the light for myself okay. as a groomer. The camera may not need the light, I need the light. You might not need the light, but I need the light. I like to see things very clearly. And let me tell you, the older I'm getting, shoo, it's really hard to see stuff. Who's old like me? Who's old, getting old and it's hard to see? Here, can you, take your, you. can you take your face mask off real quick and, and make sure so I can see your, the voices in sync say something? Hello. <laughs> Hello. A little bit more. Okay, David, really? We have to do this right now? Okay, yeah, good. Okay, what's up, you guys? What's up, YouTube? Good morning. You guys know Jackson. He's a repeat client. Now we're going into three years grooming him. So I really appreciate you guys watching. He's a, He's been kind of a difficult pet to groom because he's a rescue, and who knows what he's been through. Go ahead. It's too bright there though yeah, for sure. I'm I'm you gotta it. fix that. And then I need to see the other screen. Alright. So we do a two guard all over. Let me just check everything out We're here with my comb first. What's up? What's up, Jackson? Let's check you out first. Let me see what we got. Make sure we can get this two guard through here. It's kind of tangly, but we'll have to come back and brush it all out. Okay, let's try this brushing action here. Do our leave-in conditioner just a tad bit. Nothing excessive. I don't want it wet. Hope you don't bite me. We'll see you in a second. Let me give you. Let me watch it. See what happens here. Jackson. There you go. Are you raising your foot for me? Can I just be left handed for a minute? I can't see what you guys are saying. David is working on some things. So uh, just apologize. So just bear with us. Oh, I'm sorry. See, it's painful. These little knots are painful, aren't they? I know. Trust me, I know.
All right, guys, any um, self-promos or any mention of any other channels will be blocked and banned right off the back. So that is not allowed here. You don't like that? I don't understand. I understand. Let me see, please. You have to look up. Good boy, Jackson. Good boy, Jackson. Well, I, I'm saying Jackson, but I'm thinking of the, the lab, Golden Doodle, Labradoodle, Labradoodle. Mm -hmm. I'm like, am I saying the right name? <laughs> I'm like, am I saying the right name, man? He loves that cone, though. This one or the other one? This is killing me here. I put this over here because here, I, I got, got to fix it later. Oh, here, I'll see it. That's killing me. In my position right now, that wire, that wire is really bothering me. Man, all this crap. All these wires. Yes. Wires at home, wires at work. Oh my gosh. Can I just get some wire? No wire. Wireless activity? Then you move into a wireless situation. You almost tripped? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You got wire problems yourself, David. Speaking of wires, damn, bro. Speaking of wires, no. And then you go wireless, and then everything sucks. <laughs> you go wire, and I need the other screen up, please, like for the last time. Did you hear me? No, he's not listening. David, will you please put the other screen on? Yeah. I can't see anything. I can't believe he hasn't snapped at me yet. I'm very grateful for that. It's right there. It's called right there, the third one. I got it. Hold on, dude. You don't like that? I'm trying to hurry here, buddy. You're doing great, though. It's right there. I have no idea where it's at. But I found it. I need to fix this. Maybe. Oh, hey, there are people out there watching? See, that's what the problem is. I can't hear anything. That's why I'm like, dude, fix the screen, please. You always don't need to look at me. You need to look at the dog. Okay, we gotta come down and do your feet pretty tight here. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad at me. You gotta brush that. Let me see. I know you're licking your chomps. Okay, I know you didn't like it. But we get we're we're somewhere else now here. Come over here. Did you not change the name? Yeah, he didn't even change the name of the video, so I, I can't help it. I don't know what he's doing here. I don't even know where you pulled that from. That's how I know. That was yesterday's video. Yeah, I changed the title of it. Uh, we don't need to talk about this right now. Totally different video. I don't know what's going on with it. David, figure it out, please. The groomer can only do so much while she's grooming. You don't like the cone head? You don't have to watch. 
and go somewhere else. If you're not grooming the dog, don't make judgment. You're not here, you don't know the dog. You have not been grooming the dog for three years. Right? Right, Jackson? I'm doing a 10 blade. I'm actually using a wall right now, a wall blade. I was wanting to see if I should carry the wall blade or not. And um, at this time, I'm not sure. But I am using a 10 blade underneath my two guard. Kathleen, what's up? Yeah, we don't even blow dry you because you hate it, so we got to really make sure we wrap up this groom before you go to the bath. You want to tangle in? All right, let's take a look at some stuff here. Yeah, it confused me too, man. I don't know why. I, I didn't set it up this morning. So hopefully it's all nice and fixed. You gotta come right back there. How many of you guys saw Jackson's first groom with me nearly uh, two, maybe three years ago? How many of us saw his first groom? Or many others, actually. He's really wild on the table, so look at him now. And he's definitely wild, like when somebody in the family got sick, he was definitely, he was not happy. He was definitely not happy. Who saw that? Say, I did, Dee Dee, I saw that. Get this knot out of here. You hear it? Hear that knot? You have to look up, sweetie, look up. Stop, stop. Nice, that's gone now. Look at your cute face. Look at your cute face. Okay, might as well just get into the nitty gritty, it's stuff he doesn't like. MFDD, what's up? Gosh, I miss you, man. Been trying to game with you. Boy, you better fix that headset for real, man. It's over. This is over. <laughs> All right, switch out your blade here. It's actually not that feeling. It's not even... You don't need to switch out your blade yet. DT in the house. <laughs> okay. I know I'm excited here, buddy. Super sanitary.
Ready to go up for me? That's nice and clean now, isn't it? Nice and clean. Mm -hmm, so sweet. You're so sweet. I don't trust you, but you're sweet. Now that we got that tangle out, see how the two guard goes right down. All right, now let's go ahead and get our. You want to hand scissor this type of pet? Go right ahead. Uh, that's not my motif, so that's not what kind of grooming I do. But there are a lot of plenty of groomers out there that do some really great hand scissoring. That's just not my thing. So if you want to watch hand scissoring, by all means, go find that out there. But that's not what I'm doing here, and I've never said I do do hand scissoring. I know how to hand scissor. I'm just not going to be that person to do it. I really want to save my hands until I die. And that's my choice as a groomer, to pick how I want to groom and when I want to groom and how and what to use while I'm grooming. I learned how to use guards really well um, halfway through my career from another groomer. So I use guards. I think it's amazing. It saves your hand big time. Hey. And, it, and you know, hand scissoring, and no offense on hand scissoring, but hand scissoring takes a long time. So you need to have the dog with you more, more, right? And I'm not doing that. I'm doing one hour grooms. So if you like the hand scissoring thing, by all means, do it. Get some training. Do the hand scissoring. I'm back to my Andis 10 blade now. Uh, there's a reason I put this on, bro. There's a reason I put this 10 blade on. We were gonna do some, oh, I'm, I actually changed the wrong blade. So let's get our 40 blade. We're gonna do his feet together. Start working on his legs. His worst, he does not like his feet messed with. Come here, bud. I'm reluctant to get the dog up sand under him because he does like to move a lot. He's doing really great. I really want to, but as soon as I do, he's probably going to jump all over it. So I am kind of feeling it out. I am having to hold him more than I like to, hold him up and stuff. So we'll see, or I can just hustle through the groom itself. You don't like that? Well, let me get in and out. Let me get in and out, and we can be done with your feet. We can hustle more here. Let me see, please. Don't do that. Okay, no, 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 no. Okay. All right. Back here. Come back down. Let me see. Let me go fast. You got this, Jackson. Come on, buddy. 
I know you gotta turn this way, bud. You gotta turn this way for me. No, don't do that. I've got, I've got a special hole for you. Yes, I do. I've got a special hole. You have to get that trim. Okay? Yeah, we're going to come together here. Turn back around. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, up, 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 up. Let me get my glasses on. No, don't do that, please. Don't do that, please. Flying in the air is not okay, all right? Nope, nope, don't fight it. Don't, Jackson. Good, good boy, good boy, good boy. <laughs> Kathleen Durr, Renee Fisher. Oh my goodness, you guys. All amazing, all amazing. Calm down here, please. Now, just a moment, okay? We're more than halfway done, all right? Stay as you are, as you are. Let me check one more. Let me check one more time. There you go. Good boy, good boy, good boy. Thanks for hanging in there. All right, now, let's take this off. Let's take a look at your tail before I take that off. Let's look. When you poo, what happens here? Mm -hmm. It's just kind of dragging down a little bit. What's up, Jackson? Come here. Look that way. I know you're worried about me. Don't don't worry about me, okay? Thank you so much, you guys. I will sing for you in a minute. Renee, where have you been? I've missed you. My favorite pet smart groomer girl. Is it where to poo? Yes. I'm gonna make sure you trim that out where they it's gonna when he poops it goes up. Make sure you get all that out of the way. I'm get my 10 blade here going. I'm going to come this, bring this up some more here, right under the base of that tail. You do have to get to your head, you know. Still got some of that static. Yes, you do. You still got some of that static. Hmm. 
You want to look that way? Why don't you look that way? It's like, no, I want to look over here. I want to look at what you're doing. I could just raise this so you can look up more. Here, look up more so you don't have to hang your head down. I don't want you to hang your head down. I don't want you to hang your head down, buddy. There. Come on, it's a tough angle. It's a tough angle here because the wall. Just gotta work with me here. Don't jump. Don't jump up. Come on. Come down. Let me see. Don't lick your lips. Look at you. We're almost done with this. We're almost done with this. I'm going to comb this hair up back here so it's sticking out everywhere and then trim it right back down. My favorite thing is not to groom on a wall, but since he loves to dance around on the table, which he's not really doing today, I have him against the wall. It's not my favorite thing because you can see how limiting it is on that one whole side of his body. This is before the bath, so you don't want to spend too much time here. But since he does not get blow dried because he hates it, it causes him quite a bit of anxiety and stress. And you want to clean up as best as you can, and then it is what it is. I like being able to dictate the grooming process since this is my business. I don't work for somebody else. I like to be able to do little things like that that help the pet especially if the pet parents know their dog. And that's why doing videos is such an amazing thing to me for my business and my clients. They get to see it and then we can make judgment calls based off of what the pet's doing and they can tell me what they, what they would prefer. You know what I mean? Okay, you gotta come over here and do this paw. I might as well turn you, see how you keep flipping over there? Might as well come bring you off here. Come here, let me see you for a second. Let me get you off the table. I mean off the wall here so I can get over here. 
Don't do that. Don't start doing that. Don't start doing that. Okay? We have one paw left here. One paw left. You don't need... No, 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 no. That's what I'm saying. That's exactly why we have you against the wall. Don't do that. It's dangerous. Spinning on the table is dangerous. He's not going to stop. It's not going to change. It's part of his character. He likes to jump up on the back of the couch. He likes to... In real estate class, there was a uh, stack of chairs, like 30, 30 chairs tall. He jumps up on them. He gets to go to work with mom. She taught a class one time. I attended one of her classes, and I had to attend it. It was about when she was, um, when that company was my broker. I have a different broker now, but I attended one of her classes. And he was there, and I was like, Jackson, what are you doing, man? He's climbing up. He loves those things, climbing, jumping. It's who he is. He's not going to change. So you have to understand your client, human and dog, and be able to just kind of roll with the punches, if you may. How many of you guys have a climber, a jumper? Man, I turned around. He, you know how you go to a conference and they've got chairs stacked up? There's probably like, I don't know, 10 rows of 10, 20, 15, 16 chairs all stacked everywhere. I look over and he's over there jumping up, all uh, way up there, like 20, 20 chairs high. And I'm like, what are you doing, bud? Of course, the pet parent is uh, standing there teaching the class. She doesn't mind. <laughs> he's having fun. Okay. But that's what, okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. Okay, don't do that. Don't do that. Come back down. We're not quite done. I gotta do your face. Where's my, um, where's my, here. Here, 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 there, here. Stand here. You can stand up on here, okay? You wanna stand up on here? Stand up on here. Because I still have to brush your face. Yeah, I still have to brush your face. Here, stand up on here. Stand up on here. Here you go. I know you want a tripod here. Here you go. Stand up there. Let me see your face. Let me see your face here, buddy. Let me see, please. Don't do that. Moving around stuff. in here. No, 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 not while I got this in my hand. Like, where is your ear? <laughs> I have a feeling since he's a rescue, I have a really good feeling he's like a multi poo. But since he's a rescue, I have no idea. No idea, neither does a pet parent. We have our, our guesses, you know what I mean? Get all this chunky stuff out. Yeah. We've come a long way. If, you, if you're just getting here, make sure you're subscribed, but we've come a long way. He has been a very wild animal dog grooming, and this is, we're looking good now, but if he has a bad day, if it's really bad weather, if mom is not feeling good, she's sick or has had surgery, it's, look up then. Look, don't put your foot down. Look up.
Let me see, please. Don't do that. Not, not while I'm back here. Let me see, please. You're going to have to cooperate. He is a biter. He will bite me. I do not trust him. There's if, if he feels me tangle, detangle with that mat, he's here. Stop doing that. No, 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 no. I know you want to have fun. Not now. Okay. So I'm just cutting out some of these mats instead of trying to use my dematting tool because if I piss him off, he'll bite me. Oh, no, no. Your head is bushy. Man, it's really bushy. Nope. Oh, please. There you go. Up a little bit here. Have you guys been, what's the worst, uh, what's the worst thing you heard an animal be called? If you've been grooming a dog, you've been watching a groomer, something like that, what's the worst thing you heard someone call a dog? You, you guys been watching some stuff out there? Some pet parents too, calling their dogs, really mad at their dogs? What's the worst name you've been hearing is? Hmm? What's the worst thing you've heard someone call a dog out there? You guys know what I'm talking about? When a dog is being wild or mean. Look at your head. You have to come down. You have to come down from that. Here. What's the worst thing you've heard another groomer or a pet parent? Someone grooming a dog. I don't know if it's a pet parent or what, but what's the worst thing you've heard? But you have, huh? You've heard some other people doing that? Can I come in with this clipper? I know you don't want, love it. Come on, clipper cord. Bear with me here. Bear with me. I know you don't love it. Just work with me here. Come on, you got this. Bear with me here. This is really bushy. Don't get upset with me, not yet. Let me get through this first. Okay, let me get through this. Don't go anywhere. This is exactly why I have to keep you clicked in. You can't jump off the table while I'm doing this. No, no, no.
Can you look up now? Look up. No. Look up. Look up. Look up. All right, let's see what we got here. I still got to get over here where this loop is at. Problem is, is I don't want you jumping around. Don't jump around. Really? This is not going to work. This is not going to work. I have to use this hand to move your hair. Stay. Stay. I can see it now. Stay, stay, stay. There we go. Stay, good boy. Stay for me. Stay. No, don't do that. No, don't do that. That's not going to work. I can't do that. I can hear it now. Dog falls off the table. Come down. Come down. I know. No, no. Jackson, no. No. Calm down. No, no, no. I know you're getting impatient. There we go, there we go. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, let's get all that faded in together. Yes. Okay, we got that. It's not looking that bad then. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Come here. Come here. Come here. Woo! What do you guys think, man? How could you handle it? How could you get this dog to stay on the table and let you do that? Hmm? He was a bird before, or he wants to be a bird, or he's been a bird, something. He loves to perch. You guys able to see him now? Barely, huh? Don't do it. Don't do it, Jackson. Here? Yeah, I know. I know. Okay, can I come in here and look at your face? Okay, let me see your face. Let me see your face. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see your face. Yes, look at the face. Okay, look at all those burgers. Okie dokie. Good boy. Let me see. Let me see your face. Watch your tongue. All those burgers. Get those out of there. Let me see this side. Yeah, good. Can we cut that out? Oh, yes. Yes, we got all that chunky stuff out. Yes, we did. May I come in here? Good boy. Yay. Let me push this up in your way here. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah, you got some boogers in there big time. Look at all this dry. He needed to come in a month ago. Hmm? Yes, you did. Yes, you did. What's all this in your face? I mean, your mouth here. Let's get all that out of there. May I? I know you don't like it. And you're giving me an arm workout. Yes, you are. Let's get all that out of there. Do -do. Good boy. Good boy here. Let me move all this in my way. It's like, no, don't put it back in your mouth. Oh, man, don't put it back in your mouth. 
and get that out of there. And get that out of there. Yeah, get that out of there. Oh, I gotta rest my arm. Oh yeah, we need to get all that. Got a good position right here. That's interesting, isn't it? Yes, it is. Guess what it does? Moves your ears out. Let me see. You know, you that you don't like it. You don't like it. Oh. Don't worry, it's coming out in a minute. Come here. Come here. Come here. Let me readjust it here. If you're gonna stand on the perch and look at me and tell me what to do and <laughs> then I have to get your ears out of the way. There you go. Thank you. Stay. Stay. Good. Good boy. Here. Here. Okay, we're here. You see? Come back down a little bit. Hear all that chunky knots, food, you hear that? Big chunks are out. Not the whiskers, I'm trying to go around them. It don't matter. It don't matter, but I do know when you trim a whisker, they do grow back sharp. I do know that. Hmm? You got this whole thing down, yeah? I need you to look up though. Look up. Look up. Yes, look up. We've been doing this a long time. You know what that means. Come in here and do this. <laughs> look at this whisker. You wouldn't trim that? Look how long it is. been eating some dirt too. This is not even in there. Can I get, you know, can I get a look here? Can I get a look? Yeah, you're so cute. Look at your face. So cute. Look at this whisker. It's way out here, hanging out here by itself. Do you guys see this whisker here? Do you see this one whisker? It's got fangs. All right, let's go. Let's do this. Let's go check your ears. Because remember, we're not coming back here when we're done. It is what it is. Let's check your ears a second. What's great about grooming specific types of dogs is that over time, you actually get the opportunity to learn the dog instead of just grooming the dog and expecting to not ever understand the dog. So since I can mentally understand this dog, I know he wants this perch. And look how much it has, it's crazy looking, but he's perched up here because he loves it. So why don't I help him love something that we can do together instead of just forcing him? Our first grooms together, it's all learning. And as time goes by, three years later, you know the dog. You know he likes to perch, help him perch. You know he likes, hates being bit, get a comfy cone. You know, there's certain things that you're gonna do for that dog, right? 
That's my favorite part of doing what I do here in my salon. I need to, yeah, I need to have control. Ha, ha, ha. Can you see this one? You see here? Stay there. You're good. You are good. You're good. We're not complete yet. Look forward. Look forward. You want me over here then? You need me? Okay, there you go. To be able to talk to the, do you see me talking to him and him talking to me? Even if I didn't use words, I use sounds or vibrations. Isn't that awesome? Make that happen with you and your clients. Make that happen. You, will, it, you have found gold if you did. You have found something that no one else can take away or give to you. The first time we came in, do you think we were talking to each other? No. We were trying to understand each other. The second time, probably an argument. The third and fourth time, eh, doing better. The fifth groom, eh, a lot better. Sixth groom, mom was sick, had an argument. Seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth groom, oh, I know him now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, let's go to the bath. Come here, bud. Oh, come here, man. So, since I cannot... We're going to do the bath and then we're out of here. So since I cannot leave him alone very well, I'm bringing you guys here with now. That way I can keep him pretty close to me. Makes sense. He doesn't have to jump around and be alone in the tub. I don't want that. And I don't have to put him in the cage. Okay. Okay, give me a second, okay? Give me a second. Give me a second. Yes. We need to get some better lighting in here. Give me a second. Well, you can move that one, but the problem is moving with the wires and everything. You got this. You're okay. Come here. I know you don't like it. Okay? Come here. You're okay. I need to get my perch, please. Come here. Come here. I know you don't like it. Perch? No, no, no. perch. What's that? Never mind. He's obviously not listening. Come on. Don't go anywhere. Okay? Don't go anywhere. Do that. This around your... What do we got? Around your... There you go. Perch. Hold on. Hold on. I'm going to do this one around this side. Here, 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 here. There you go. There you go. Okay. I'm going to start off, since I have these new dog up, co um, dog up covers, since I have, mm -hmm. he hates his bath, okay, which is why we do not blow dry, because if he acts like this during a bath, he's definitely going to act like that during the blow dry. It's very stressful. Don't, don't do it to him. So we're gonna use his heart's going so fast. Your heart's going so fast, you yeah. know? I got you right here, ma'am. I'm gonna try to use it with the cover on the water and see if that helps the nozzle cover Betty made. Can't help it if he's gonna jump around like this. You gotta bathe him. He's doing it to himself, right? I know, I know, yes I know. So the best thing you can do is hurry up. Okay, so let me get the water going on warm and then we're gonna move quickly. Oh, the water, the water cover's helping me. Well, it was, hold on, hold on, give me a chance to do it. Okay, let's move, let's move quickly. No, we can't have that. Can't do that. I got it. Yeah, I do. Let's move quickly. Yeah. Here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Here. Good. 
Good boy. Watch your bum bum. Good boy. Make sure you get all that. Stay here. Stay here. Stay here. Good. Good. Stay here. You're okay. Stay here. It's just water, Jackson. It's just water. It's just water. It's okay. Okay, we can't do this. This is too much. This is too much. No, no. This is too much. Here, I have to wash your face. We have to do this. No, no, no. No, put your foot down. I'm glad I put that one on. You got out all the other ones. Oh. Yes, you did. So, Pink, we haven't even used soap yet. Now we have to take off the soap after this. And if you want to double up and make the rinsing longer by making it really, really lathery and all that stuff, or using a product that has the lathery chemical in your shampoo, this will take even longer. Have you ever used aloe vera shampoo? Does it have a lot of bubbles? No, it doesn't. You don't need bubbles to make a dog clean or yourself clean. You need cleansing, the smell of cleansing, or aloe vera, or... It depends on what you're using to clean. Do some reading. Because I, I can't tell you, you won't believe me, but just go read yourself. What chemicals are in the shampoo you use at home? And what makes suds? There's a chemical that they put in to make suds. <laughs> Did you know that? Jackson, Jackson, calm down, calm down. I'm hurrying, I'm hurrying. I know you hate it. I know you hate it. I know you hate it, bud. Could you groom this dog? Could you bathe this dog? Could you bathe this dog better than me? Come on over. We will ask the parents for permission first. Alright, we we'll ask parents permission first if they'll live and let you work with them. Hmm? Boy, you are getting me all wet. Yes, you are. There's water everywhere. Not yet. I'll do the face last. I'll do the face last. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know, Jackson. I know. Yeah. You don't like water. Come here. I gotcha. I gotcha over here. I gotcha. We'll get it all off, okay? Yeah. Stand up. Stand up. I gotcha. Okay. Come down. I gotta check a look over here. Nope, not yet. Oh, 
a rush now. I want to rush, you know? <laughs> Have to get it all. You gotta get it all. Hold on. Hold on, buddy. Hold on here. Pop, 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 pop. Pop, pop, pop. Right here, Jackson. Focus on me. Focus on me. Right here, Jackson. Right here. Let me see your finger. You're scratching me up. Let me see. Okay. Now I'll put this back on to finish his face. just about to stop and go get some my help because he's not letting me, he's not cooperating. I need to wash his entire face with the soap off. Okay. Okay, so just kind of help me hold him. Okay. Jackson. 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 If you don't want me to rinse, you can say so, but we have to get the soap off. Okay, you got soap on your face. I have to get the soap off. There, you're not so bad. We're just getting the soap off. We're just getting the soap off. Praise God you were standing out there. <laughs> I really, really was trying so hard, man. <laughs> Scratch me up pretty good. Oh, Look, yeah, yeah. 20 minutes, I mean, washing yeah. it. So. <laughs> but probably four or five minutes just on the face alone, and I was like, about to, about to go get you. You're a mess. It's best to just have the pet parent involved, so you know what we're dealing with. Yeah. Oh, no, I've bathed them at the house before. Be careful on the wire. Oh, okay. I'm sure. Yes, okay, we'll meet you up front. Okay. Let me get them in a... Um, his harness and everything. Man, he was ornery. <laughs> wild. Wild for the face, man. Yeah, it's how? Talk to me. It's how. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Jackson, hey. Jackson. As long as a pet parent can see and understand and know, then they know what you're working with. Right, Mom? Here, 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 yep. Okay, I'll try. Okay. Get her to touch. Oh, yes. Yeah. He's not going to calm down. We can ask him to, but he will not calm down. He's ready to do backflips over here. He's not going to calm down, David. He's ready to do backflips over here. That's like a vigorous speech. Chill, bro, chill. Woo! Chill, 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 chill. We're all extremely watered down. Just water everywhere. Let me everywhere. just tell you that. There is water everywhere. I'm going to jump a little bit more. I got it. If he didn't get out of both those uh, groomers around his arm. Alright, you want to heal me? If I didn't have a double up, he would have jumped out of the car. If you don't understand, you know, well, I don't know what it is. You made them in the kitchen sink. And it's the water. Do you get water out of it? Bro, bro. But, um, it's the best of the three. Two on one side of the island and one on the other side of the island. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. She doesn't, she has to put 
Come over here and talk. Come here. Okay, I'm gonna let you guys hear what mom has to say about her own pet. Okay, <laughs> this is your sister's pet. Yeah, he's my nephew. <laughs> Okay, so you're not totally not viewable, but just right here is the towel. Okay. So go ahead and tell me what you just told me about how you guys bathe him at home. So we bathe him in the sink, in the kitchen sink. We have to put water in the sink first. He runs and hides because he knows that's what's going to happen if he sees the towels. And then we put him in the sink, then we use the just the cup and that's usually okay just to wet him and and use a cup soap him up to use a cup uh -huh. okay but then when you go to rinse him it's a nightmare it's a, it's a nightmare in yeah. the kitchen sink in the kitchen sink so i would imagine if you see me i'm all wet you got wet you were there for three seconds and yeah. you got wet really wet he had water all over here so at home do you have water everywhere um it's it's usually just on you. Like I sent Kim pictures the last time that I, I bathed him by myself. He got me pretty and good. And I yeah. was completely soaked. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm all scratched up, too. He's a mess. He does not like baths at all. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. <laughs> you going home like this? Yes, we don't blow that anymore. What do you mean? No, Really? No, never. <laughs> yeah. Blow drying is not his favorite thing. He tried that a few times and it's it makes to, things really he's bad. Yeah. To go run. Jackson. I'll trade you here. Okay. How old you are? Are you yeah. sure you're not going to go home and. <laughs> no, he's going to the office with him. Is he? Oh yeah. gosh, you guys. Okay. He loves being at the office. David's online. <laughs> Come on out here, we'll cash you out. Okay. How are you behaving today? Cash. Come on, Cinder. You're a mess. That light fell over. You fixed it? Yeah. I always figured it broke. Freaking, I think, how does he have so much energy, man? It looks really blurry here. What's up? Oh, it's just that uh, it's not blurry. Oh. Put it on the lowest over here. I have another aggressive coming in right now. I mean, not another, but an aggressive dog coming in right now. And Borderline have started trying, may possibly using the pet parent on this one. Boy, there was a minute there. I was totally going to go. I was about to back up, so I backed up. The light fell down. I'm, I'm really ups, getting upset at how everything's going, and I tell myself I need to get the pet parent in. And boom, I, I, it's like God's listening. He says, she, she knocks on the door. As I back up, light falls down. She knocks on the door. I'm like, yes, that's exactly what I was going to go get, Mom. <laughs> so let me cash her out. like that. Ah. 
<laughs> ah, okay. Whoa, you guys, what the heck? So, I'm quiet, but I'm getting all scratched up. You know, it's part of my job. I'm getting all scratched up trying to do my best and staying and trying to keep the situation calm as possible. And you could tell he hates, like, it's not even an understatement. He hates the water. So it comes down to like, can you handle watching this kind of stuff? Because if you can't handle it, you probably, you probably, it's okay. You don't have to handle it. You don't have to watch. But this is real grooming. I mean, these are dogs that are special cases. I groom specifically special case grooms because I do one groom per hour or one groom per session. So I'm not your average groomer. I'm really picky. I'm kind of a really picky person, very passionate, I would say, about who I bring into the, my clients. So you have to do a few things different than you might have to on anyone else. And that's okay. There's a groomer for all of us, isn't there? There's a groomer for all of you out there. And some of you guys out there that are my fans, you guys don't even have dogs. You guys love the intensity of what we have to do here and seeing how hard it really is to do some of the things that we do. But I can tell you right now, it, we talked about, you know, if you've heard people call your dog names or people are calling dog names and if you're really frustrated, you've got to take a breather and or get the pet parent involved. I hope you can get the pet parent involved. If you have your own business, then do it. If the dog is getting so wild and so hard to manage on the table, which makes it dangerous, makes it unsafe, guess who to call? The owner of the dog. Call the owner of the dog and guess what you can do? Record your session. If you haven't learned anything from me all these years, record what you're doing so that you can share that with the client and say, look, this is what he's doing. This is why you need training or this is why you need to walk your dog before you come in as a requirement. This is why I need you to step in and help me groom your dog so that he doesn't hurt you, himself or me. So there's a bunch of reasons that I do what I do and I love what I do and I have a niche and I picked that niche myself. So I hope that whatever it is that you're doing, it doesn't cause you to get so angry with the dog that you have to yell at the dog in a way that you have to use cuss words. Because if you were to talk about my dog like that, I'd probably have to come and just whip one on you, literally. You would not cuss at my dog. I would never trust you with my child if that was the case. So if you're cussing at dogs, I recommend change your wording, change your verbiage, and then don't record it and put it out there so that the humans can see how you treat animals. I hope you understand when I'm grooming an aggressive dog, it's the hardest thing you can do. And I love doing that because it's overwhelmingly satisfying to me to be able to get the pet parent in the door with their aggressive dog that's been turned away. If you happen to even listen to the video, however many times they've been turned away or nicked or injured or with people who could not finish the job. That's what I like to do. I like to work with people that have nowhere else to go because they've already been there. That's my grooming business. That's my niche. Thanks for watching what I do. This is why I do what I do because no one else wants to. This dog Jackson had three different groomers or more before they found me. And she found me because she's like, you know what? Why don't I use Dee Dee? She's a realtor. She works, she's, actually she was one of my bosses. She's a real estate agent that works for me. Why don't I try her out? And look, we've never gone backward from here. We've gone forward. He was great on the table, right? But when you really upset him and something he doesn't like to do, look at how crazy he got with the water in his face. And I say crazy, like, hello, he scratched the crap out of me, jumping everywhere, doing this. If I had to blow dry him, which we have, which we have, we tried and do it real low and it's too stressful, really stressful. So you don't want to stress me. I don't want to stress him out even more. I do have to do my job. There's a difference. You still have to do the job that needs to be done, but you want to do it quicker, faster, get in and out and then stop what you're doing so he can now go rest for two months, right? So he'll have two months of break before he comes back in for about an hour session. I'm really glad it only takes about an hour. Anything longer, he would probably be even over, right? Do you guys agree? Even more overwhelmingly stressed out. And I wouldn't want that, and I wouldn't want that pet to be undergone that. So pick and choose how you want to do something. But please, please, don't cuss at the animals. They don't deserve it. 
It's, it's, we choose to, I don't have to choose to groom him if I want to cuss at this dog, which I didn't, thank God. It's overwhelming, but it's very satisfying. You want to do what you can for the pet owner and the pet client and the pet. In any case, I really, do you guys love seeing those where it's like no one else can groom the dog and we actually get all the hair off? I love that. Team 10 blade in the house. You know what I'm saying? So make sure you choose the niche that fits you best in whatever it is, whether it's grooming, the bar industry, service industry, you know what I'm saying. Whatever industry you're in, make sure you love what you're doing. Because if you don't, there's a billion other jobs out there that you could do. Come on, let's go read the comments together. Do, 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 do. All right, let's take a look at what you guys have to say. And I got to do some singing and I have a client walking in. What time is uh, my next client here? I'm going to scroll up. Let me scroll up. I should just get my cell phone. My next client here is this. Hang in there. Hang in there with me. Give me a second. So we have, I want to say, is it going to be coming? He's going to be coming in any minute. Yes, he's going to be coming in any minute. I need to wrap this up. Okay, okay. Let me get my... You don't have my cell phone, do you? No. Right there by that box. Where you put it. Praise God you know what I'm doing. So mom, I'm looking at the text messages. Mom was like, is he ready? I'm like, it was a it was a handful. I'm gonna let her know. You know, you guys can have your own opinions and everything, but one of the things I think is really important is my, this is my thing. Uh, it doesn't have to be your thing, but my thing is getting the pet parent involved. I feel like if I was the pet parent and my dog was a jerk, I would want to be there. You know what I mean? Like if my dog is trying to attack or me mean or scratch you up or be all over the place and if that was going to be my dog and my dog was a jerk, I would want to be there. Let me help you handle my dog. So um, those of you guys who don't believe in that, I know some groomers hate that about me, and it's okay, send them over here. If you don't want to groom a dog with the pet parent involved, send them my way, as I will send dogs your way that are just normal dogs. If you want a normal dog grooming without aggression and without all the issues, hey, let me know. I will send them your way. We can have a referral program. That's called working together. It's not called hating on somebody for what they're doing. It's like, actually, that's a business sense of thought. Instead of hating what I do, why don't you just grow with it? Um, we are all different people, and especially if you're nowhere around me and you're not affected by my business, I don't know why it bothers you so much. However, let's go ahead and look at so what you guys are saying out there. How are you guys doing anyway today? Was this intense for you? I mean, we had a great groom, but all of a sudden, you know, you got to see the true colors of a dog that doesn't like something, and guess what? He didn't like it. So he was like, dude, I'm totally not going to deal with this water, right? All right, you guys, here we go. Let's take a look. If I can find my own channel here. Oh, here it is. Here it is. And let me go mute it. And let me glance at some of the things so I can actually look eyeball to eyeball, look at you face to face. So uh, Kathleen Durer, thank you for being a member. Thank you for being out there chatting and everything. I really appreciate you. Thanks for all of you and your fanhood. Thanks for hanging out with me. Renee, thank you so much. I missed you. I missed you for Christmas. I really, really want to send you something, so don't let me forget. Renee, you're one of my favorite um, PetSmart groomers, so thank you so much for working at PetSmart. I worked at PetSmart. I know how hard it was. It's a, it's a definition of where I learned to do things I love to do and what I love to hate to do. So it taught me a lot. And sticking through a PetSmart career is uh, loyalty. And um, sometimes you're under maybe, maybe a contract, so you might have to fulfill that contract. But... Things have changed. I don't work at PetSmart. I haven't worked there in a long time, but thank you for, for doing that. I appreciate you. Uh, we have a new member, but I don't see it. And I do see... Okay, here we go. I think I'm missing... Oh, I definitely am. I scrolled too fast. 
some of these donations didn't come through. I know Renee did a donation and Kathleen did a donation, so let's sing together. And Honey Bee, if you're out there, will you sing with me? I don't see Honey Bee right now, but thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Kathleen Durr, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! All right, thank you so much, Kathleen Durr, for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Renee Fisher, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh. If you don't like the singing, sing with me. I mean, it, it do doesn't do anything but make you smile. So if you don't like to smile, then oh, I can't help you. MP, thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, MP, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! And we have one more, maybe? Nana. I want to say Nana. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation. Thank you for your donation, Nana, to my favorite groomer. Clap, clap, clap. Woohoo! All right. Well, thank you so much for your donations. I really appreciate it. Buffy's in the house. Hey, Buffy. What's up? Thanks for being out there. And, uh, yeah, you have to scroll up and see what you miss. Oh, my goodness. Dude. Check the groom later. It was like an intent. The groom was amazing. We did great. He did great. But once we hit the tub, he got a little bit more... And then once we did the face, it was over. I was like, oh gosh, man, I cannot get this face. And you have to get the soap off the face. There's no way around it. You can't skip it. You know, okay, skip it. But since the owner was in this dress, he is getting ready to go to work. And I was like, okay, I, I whipped a apron on her. And she wanted to tell the real estate. She has she is a licensed realtor as well. And she, I was like, just just wait, just just whip it. It'll be fast. And so we whipped it on her because Jackson's already like doing this thing. You guys saw, right? He's already doing this exciting I'm done thing. And she got a good hold of his face and his jaw. And I was able to spray it all down with uh, the nozzle cover. <sighs> Thank gosh. But he still didn't like it. Did you see? You, you need to rinse. This is, this is what I do. You need to rinse the eyeballs. Rinse the face. Rinse the soap off the top of the head. All that residue needs to be gone. Or you're going to possibly have itchiness later or you might get soap in the eye and you don't want that. So rinse, 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 rinse really good. And plus I really, did you guys see all that cakey stuff on his eye? I mean you can't skip the face. You can't. I had this one gentleman and then I'm, I'm going to say goodbye. I had this one gentleman when I worked at a veterinarian clinic and I had him come upstairs I think and he said... Uh, can you skip my dog's face? And I said, like, what do you mean? Don't wash the face at all? He's like, yeah, don't wash the face. I'm afraid of shampoo getting in his eye. And I said, so you're never going to wash his face? Like, you kiss the face all the time. There's germs on his forehead, you know, on the top of his head. You've got the eye boogers. And so you, I told him, you never want to wash his face. We didn't wash his face. But in my head, I was like, how can you not wash his face? If you have a Shih Tzu, you know yourself. The dirtiest place on the Shih Tzu is usually their private areas, their feet, and their face. And sometimes you've got so much dripping coming out of their eyes, some drooling going on, that it starts to smell like a funky yeast infection. How are you going to skip washing the face? Just learning how to wash the face, getting all the, with the water, getting all that residue off, all that gunk off, regularly can really help the dog's face smell good and stay clean. My thing is rinsing the eyes out with water or get yourself the eye drops, which I have here, but it's something I always do. You rinse, rinse, rinse. If you don't think that dogs can handle being in the water, you don't think that dogs can handle water getting in their eyes, I'll just challenge you to go watch the competition dogs swimming. The dogs that comp competition jump and um, they jump and have the farthest jump for competition into the lake, right? So they have that ass competition. So if a dog can't swim or be in water or their eyes are in water, I challenge you to go watch those things. And, and then you'll see like, well, if they can jump in a dirty lake, they should be able to jump, be rinsed their eyes off with clean water. All right, love you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I appreciate you. Thanks for your donations. Thanks for being part of Feed. My next client is here, and we're going to get started here for grooming. So we'll see you later. Be sure to shop at myfavoritegroomer.com. Check out dogupstand.com. And if you're new, be sure you actually have the subscribe bell clicked. All right, I love you guys. We'll talk to you later. See you later. Bye.